We, uh, on uh, Monday night during Biden's speech, we raised a banner that said, Stop Arming Israel. Um, and we did it during Biden's speech specifically because Biden is currently the one that has the power to make that decision. You know, Harris is, Harris is running, but she's the vice president. She doesn't get to make that decision. So we wanted to emphasize that Biden needs to stop arming Israel, which just means enforcing our own laws. There's a, there's a set of laws called, called the Leahy Laws that forbid arms sales to uh, militaries that are conducting these kind of atrocities. So uh, we, 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 we wanted to emphasize that Biden needs to enforce her own laws and stop arming Israel. Um, and, uh, you know, um, uh, so we, we raised the banner and uh, then lots of people uh, uh, started to, uh, you know, uh, 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 basically get in front of us with these big signs that they, that they had, trying to block out the sign. And then um, somebody from behind us tried to rip the sign out of my hands. They tried it once, I pulled it back. They tried it again, they got it that time. Um, and then... Um, uh, I heard also that they tried to dim the lights in your area. Did they dim the lights over you? Yeah, they dimmed, they dimmed the lights over us. They didn't want people to see. They didn't want, they didn't want any political speech um, uh, of anybody other than, uh, you know, the signs that they had distributed, that the party had distributed. You know, but this is a political convention. We have a right to make our voices heard in political speech, to say what we need to say. And the behavior of the people that were, um, uh, you know, that were, that, that were trying to block that or trying to take the sign away, that's effectively, that is, that's using violence to silence political speech. Okay, and that's the kind of, that that that's that's just kind of a modern version of the brown shirts, um, and uh, that's really really sad and disappointing to see from Democrats who purportedly believe in free speech and the right the, the right to protest and the right to the right of the uh, of, of of people to be heard. Do you plan on voting for uh, Kamala Harris? I plan on voting against Donald Trump. Our system currently doesn't give me another option to vote against Trump effectively, except for voting for Harris. So I'll be voting for Harris. Uh, you know, I'll be marking my ballot for her anyway. I'll be voting against Trump. She would need to do some things to actually get me to vote for her, and I want to vote for her. Okay. For example, she would need to show that she actually is a law enforcement officer, a prosecutor who's going to enforce the Leahy laws, which effectively means an arms embargo against Israel, stop arming Israel. If they're not willing to take that step, are they really serious about wanting a ceasefire?